Robbie Gold. Robbie Gold made it seem like when the story came out, Grant, you would have sworn that Robbie was like unhappy with the Niners and wanted out. But then you go back and you look up Robbie Gold and you saw the last negotiations with the Niners and it kind of went the same way. He kind of said, I want to be elsewhere. And they're like, yeah, we kind of rather keep you. And then they've worked it out money wise. And I talked to him about, you know, late in the year this year, he's got three boys. He's living out of a hotel. His family's in the Midwest. I know he, you know, he misses his kids and yeah. that kind of thing. But I mean, it. I, he didn't seem bitter that the Niners retained him and that he's still out here on the West coast. He just, mm -hmm. you know, I, I mean, it's hard. You know what I'm saying? He's such a professional. It's hard to get a gauge on, does he want out or does he just want a few more bucks? Well, and is he going to be here or are they still a few more bucks is always good. A few more bucks is always good. I've never I mean, seen him. 4.8. I think that, I think the, I think the franchise tag is yeah. five, four, you know, 5.4 million. Well, again, my, my whole working hypothesis is this could be the Niners have to treat this season as Trent Williams last. They don't know. He doesn't know. They have to approach it that way. So you can't downgrade at 10 positions. And I feel like they're already like they've they, they, you lost Jimmy Ward. You lost Emmanuel Mosley. I mean, yes, you upgraded at defensive tackle, but that's about it. That's about it. You can't, you can't just take make a have a, a massive downgrade at kicker and be like, we're going to win the Super Bowl this year. Like, no. Bring back, what is this, $4 million, $5 million? It's not a big deal. You, you, if it, It's either Robbie Gould or someone better. That's what it's got to be. Um, who is better? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, here's the thing. And what's better? Because Robbie's never missed in the playoffs. If you told yep. me what's my barometer for great kickers, it's like pressure kickers. And this yep. guy's a great pressure kicker. I'd almost give right. away a couple of kicks in the regular season to make sure I had a guy who did it in the playoffs. What, when you put it that way, I'm not so sure that he's leaving. It seems like the Niners need him. There's no upgrade, and you know he can be swayed. Yeah, if they make an offer, he can't refuse. We'll see what happens. It's business. Is Eddie Pinero an upgrade? I'm not a big Eddie Pinero expert. I haven't watched him. How many <laughs> kicks either, has he bro. made in the playoffs? Yeah, I mean he had a, he's coming off a good year. He made 400 grand. You know, so you might be able to give him. And he was with Carolina. Wilkes knows him. He gave him the game ball okay. in the year. I don't know. All right. I mean. I, let me ask you this. Would you rather go with a veteran kicker, either Robbie Gold or somebody else, or would you rather try to take a shot in the draft? What's your feeling on that? Again, to your point, like this is a team, this is a kicker who's going to have to make big kicks in presumably the NFC Championship game in the Super Bowl with the whole season on the line. Do you want that to be the kicker from the rookie kicker from Michigan? Is he ready for that? Yes. Or do you want Robbie Gold? I want Robbie Gold. So they better work it out with Robbie Gold and pay him what he needs because kicker is important. Kicker's really important. By the really way, is. I, I spoke to You don't Rob want Brett Brady. Maher? Sorry. Yeah, well, who had a great year? I mean, if you look well, at his not a big game kicker. But I mean, my God, at the end of the year, it was like, that guy was like. Hey, if they, if they could just get like an extra point specialist, he'll be fine. Because he's good at the, at the tougher kicks. It's just the extra points. Do you care if Robbie kicks the ball through the end zone on kickoffs or leaves it short? Because he doesn't, he typically doesn't have the boomer leg that some of these other guys do. Or is that a non factor to you? It's not a big deal. I kind of like it sometimes when they leave it short because that I means do. it allows your, it allows your guys to actually tackle mean. the guy behind, behind the 25, which I mean, the Niners invested in George Odom, right? You're yeah. paying George Odom. He's the first guy down. Why don't you let him do his thing? 